What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Gangland Neem, aka Neeman. I before the E. Golly, I don't know y'all. Remember that. We back with another reaction. And um, here we go, bro. I see uh Adam got a sponsor, Mango, whoever or whatever the fuck that is. But um I come across Adam, bro, popping that shit again, man. Look, I ain't heard nobody. I fought fuck with uh Fig Munity shit. I ain't heard nobody say your name. Speak on you, your girl getting um triple zone down, none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? People pretty much like you just you a dub, bro. You like dusty. You feel me? Like only niggas talk about you is me. Cause the clicks go up. You know what I'm saying? But like that's about it. You feel me? But here he go. It's almost like he trying to incite some shit. And this is why I was saying in all the other videos. I think it's if it, it feels like he's treading a fine line of like, okay, this is content. And like, bro, are you trying to get fucked up? Because brick, damn show not sharp. And um, Desto can't help you from any of that, bro. Nor will they. Like, niggas can sit up there like, woo, woo, whatever. But it's like, at the end of the day, if somebody come in to press your line, they're not jumping in the middle of that. Because that's y'all shit. You feel me? But let's get into this clip. Suck ass. He be, boy, he be woofing it, boy. Woofing it. As long as you're saying that, I would just like to say, <laughs> shout out to me. Shout out to No Jumper for taking a oh massive W this week. A one-man army. And, and not to take anything away from y'all, but... In this whole little war that has been going down, I never asked any of y'all for help. I never said, hey, sure. Sharp, nah, let me get sure. a few bars. Tell them how you feeling. Nah. Doug, shoot at him. Say this, say that. Yeah, yeah. Nah. I never did. Like, look his face, his body language. Like, what happened to, like, Adam 22 with the chain that he didn't feel comfortable rocking? You know what I'm saying? Like, this, you might as well throw the chain on. You feel me? You might as well throw the chain on, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Get some jewelry and a grill and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you... Hey, what's up? You feel me? Like you forgot who you is or something. Yeah, I just took took on a whole squad. Just me, little Come. old white boy, and everybody surprisingly quiet all of a sudden. Now, I did say <laughs> that I was going to just let it go if they let it go with me. And, I and that's what they're doing. And here you are again. It's like you want somebody to fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so you can go to the police because that's that's what you're going to do. Ain't nobody sliding for you or nothing like that. So it's, it's so you're going to be calling the law. It's like you want somebody to crash out. Oh, that they working real hard on letting it go because I caught some pretty crucial unfollows <laughs> over the course of the last 48 hours. Now, <laughs> let me... Probably... Probably, probably after that nigga serve Heather though. That, that was crazy. Like, oh, can I come? On? This nigga hit her. Like, yo, can I come on? Um, can I come on a cocktail show? Heather, like, yeah, for sure. Like, we don't hate you. That nigga's like, J.K. That shit trash. <laughs> that, that shit till this day makes me gas. Like, damn. Way to serve a nigga's wife. Like, <laughs> I'd have to fuck you up off that alone. Then you gonna release? Then you gonna release the fucking the DM? Like, bruh, you did, he he been took it too far for shit. You into the hypothetical group chat? I found out from the Reddit. Shout out to the Reddit. Uh, but yeah, they noticed things way before me. Way but more uh, than anybody, that's bro. what I was like. My, what the fuck? My and one more thing too before we get back into this. This guy be really so involved in the like. Okay, put it like this. After I record these, I go on about my life. I do my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not sitting in the chats or the subs and trying to see you know what i'm saying like this nigga is very invested in like this sub culture of the actual brand that makes him money you know what i mean that shit is weird that you like in there even all that shit going back to lush and all them you know what i'm saying that comes from you and being messy and talking to different folks and it's like it's weird bro he like be really entrenched in that shit like it's weird bro for somebody like you know of bros like financial status and what now you you go you on a whole media business but you be in this little website where motherfuckers who don't know what they talking about be saying whatever like it's weird it's the thing is that i am not gonna take the big act advice that he gave me because he told me if you're gonna go to war with some people you gotta exterminate them 
you got to go the whole way. You can't leave them with a, a lung full of air left for them to fucking still come back. This fool's crazy. I can't do it. I just don't have that hate in my heart to turn my content into a fucking hate stream on a consistent yeah. basis. Which, you yeah. know, I've seen him do that with Rory and Maul, and I, I respect it, and it seems like it went pretty well. I didn't fuck you. For me... I'm not really trying to make like the Sharp. basis of my content okay. going at some people. I waited six months or five months or whatever. I, let, I, I took a lot of shots, a lot of heat, didn't say shit back. I tried out that option. As soon as I started talking my shit back, took about two and a half weeks for everybody to shut the fuck up. So I, I'm, I'm going to leave it alone. Whoa. But just know that the notepad application in my phone contains ether, the likes of which people have never seen. <laughs> And I could open it up at any given moment. Look at now how the problem it. is, he's saying like, "Bust a move, bust a move." That's what he's doing. Like, yo, this, this is, this is getting tricky, bro. And it's just like, damn, do you not say nothing? Like, if it was me, like, motherfucker, you'd have to release all that motherfucking ether you had in your notepad because I'm gonna just tell you, like, bro, couldn't you be keep doing this, like? Come on, bro. How he talking? Like, bro, I have somebody outside your Burbank studios, bro. The No Jumper Reacts Network has a hard time getting it, getting views and getting content when they're not reacting to No Jumper. But they know that. So, you know, in that group chat, they said, listen, we got to all unfollow Adam. Because as long as we're following Adam, we're going to know what he's doing and we're going to have to react to it. The only way that they could stop reacting was to unfollow me. So that they don't even know Just what I'm doing, really so they don't react shit. to it. Now, what are they going to be doing now that they're not reacting to me? Well, it's going to be a you know a potato sack race. They're going to tie their legs together. They're going to run around, do a little race, maybe. <laughs> See all that unnecessary. All this is unnecessary, bro. Maybe we'll make a few more mixed drinks. Who knows? So it's, it's, it's a ticking time. Bro. He throwing jabs. But let's be real. Yeah, what's wrong Twenty-two. I don't even know did his damn at, thing. But he's looking at something. I think he's looking at the water bottle. Like, Jeez. look. <laughs> All I'm saying, I'm a one-man army. And whatever they're going through right now, feeling like, damn, we marginalized. Did, did they unfollow No Jumper? No, nah, they didn't even unfollow Josh, from what I could tell. And even Smack. Smack don't know how to use the fucking phone, so he didn't unfollow me. Yet. I'm sure he's still working on it. He's going to figure it out next week. But... See, bro is popping it. Smack down right now. Don't even talk about Smack, bro. Smack big down. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is crazy. If I was Fig Munity, back on Fig, Figaro Street, uh... Anywhere near Pharaoh, <laughs> I'll be on that ass. I'm going to just be honest because he popping and he's really popping. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? This where it's like for the, for the niggas sitting around like sharp, you know, with your motherfucking slick back and shit. You know what I'm saying? Who was really <clears throat> around during both parts of this shit. You know what I'm saying? The middle of the split up before that, all that. You know what I'm saying? You was really um around. Niggas should tell him, yo, kick back. You feel me? Like, just, you know, kick back. Niggas ain't said nothing. They leaving it alone. Let's just, you know, leave it alone. But um, he probably won't. Uh, he probably won't until something happened to him. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it. He just served everybody, though. He continued to serve these niggas. It's just like he's just poking at the bear. Like I said, that Heather Sanders DM release was wild. Talking about JK, nigga, that shit is ass. Like, nigga, your cocktail show, ass. That's crazy. But um, let me know what y'all think below. Again, if this your first time to the channel, please hit that notification bell and subscribe. Like, subscribe, comment, and share the content if you fuck with it. It's your boy, Neem. Peace.